tailgating. A lot of a lot of lobs out there available for you tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, you know Kenny's he's starting to learn the game a lot, and he's getting to the right spots, and you know he can jump with anybody above anybody, so it makes it easy on us. So, um, but that's just the gelling that we're growing, and you know, hopefully we're gonna get Mikhail some lobs here too. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Peyton, at, at times this year, you guys have played with all four freshmen on the court, and it's gone good sometimes, four other times. You guys have the 10 0 run with you, and I think the four out there. What what, what did you kind of see from those guys compared to maybe three or four months ago when you guys were kind of just still getting into it? Uh, I mean, you know, it's a process, and I remember being a freshman, it's not, you know, everything is faster, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily the game, it's just the, uh, you know, you, the plays, the defenses, the talking, the communication part of it. You know that uh, that involves your brain. You know that kind of stuff. Uh, that that comes hard as a freshman coming into it. You know, it's a big change from high school. But uh, their growth is. You know, they're making big strides, and you know they're doing unbelievable. Macau, two pretty emphatic wins this weekend. How are you guys feeling about yourselves coming off just the two games, the two performances combined? We feel like we did what we were supposed to do. Um, we we came in here trying to get wins at home. You supposed to protect home, so. We tried to come in here and get wins, and they were pretty important to us because they were just two wins we needed. So uh, it was pretty important, but we still got uh, a couple more games to go, so we can't dwell on this game. we got to look forward to the next games. Do you guys feel like you've kind of built some momentum in these, uh, you know, over this weekend, kind of going into this last six-game stretch of this season? Yeah, I always say, you know, we're uh, definitely gelling more. Um, we kind of moved past the bad loss for Stanford. Um, so, you know, we're, we're making strides and going into LA, we're going to really have to be together. We need those. Uh, we need to win both, to be quite honest. So we really have to work hard to practice this week and get ready for those two games. Can you credit that Stanford loss at all for your guys' gelling or playing better to wake up calling or anything like that? Um, no, I, I wouldn't. You know, we just, bad game. I just, we knew, you know, what, what we were against and our backs are against the walls and we needed that win. And, you know, they just blew us out. So it wasn't necessarily a wake-up call. We just moved past that, move on, and we're getting ready for the, the next test, which was Washington and Washington State. You guys know this, this week, kind of some of the teams at the top have been losing, and now with, with two wins, you guys are all of a sudden back up there in that top four position again. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's like a five-way tie for second, is it not? Yeah, I think you guys are tied for third, a half game behind UCLA. And USC. I, I, well, I'm talking about the loss. The loss yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, it's... It, all the teams are on the race, so obviously this next trip, LA, is, you know, define our destiny in the Pac-12 race. So we're gonna need them. Kyle, you seen kind of some of that, and you haven't been in this conference before, but you find yourself now looking at standings, kind of see where you guys are shaping up at. Uh, not not too much. I don't really focus on the standings too much. I just focus on our team getting better and, and winning games. Um, if we win games, we can we take care of the rest. Um. When it comes time to look at standings, I'll probably look at them, but I don't really focus on them too much. I just focus on, honestly, our team getting better and winning games because when you win, you you take care of everything else. So, Kyle, uh, Coach went with that young lineup for a pretty long time. What did you see from the bench kind of that they brought and kind of allowed you guys to build a little bit of a lead there? They brought a lot of energy. Uh, they brought a lot of uh, <laughs> de defensive aggress aggression, and I think that they did a great job. We got in the press, and they were really pressing and running around, and moving the ball on offense. So they did a great job just bringing the energy off the bench and, and coming together. Do you guys have any idea that Franks wasn't going to play for them? Was that a surprise at the beginning of the game to find out he was hurt? Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't know. But um, obviously, that's a big loss for them. But uh, we didn't dwell on it. We just were going to play whoever they have out there. So, Peyton, you have 18 assists the last two games. Are you seeing something different, or is it just the continuation of that gelling? Of uh, you know, guys are hitting shots. and making my job easier. Uh, I feel like this last two games, I've been more aggressive getting in the lane and, you know, finding guys. But, uh, but yeah, definitely we're gelling more. We're getting to the right spots. And, you know, Kenny, he's been a big factor too. He's getting easy layups for us, and that will help us tremendously. How does this kind of gelling kind of feel to, to teams that you play on? You know, like last year's team, because kind of, you know, kind of striving at the end of the year, you guys sort of playing better. How does this kind of compare to that? Um, you know, last year's team was this. They were already together, so it's a different story. I was coming in. I was the only, really the only person that needed to gel, me and Keith. Um, so this year, everybody's new, so you know it's going to take longer, but we're young, and you know our strides are 
we're making a lot of strides and going down the stretch these last six wins uh, six games we're going to need to win and so we'll see how our gelling is then it's surprised at all teams continue to go into the paint and try Kenny try to test him and see if he can't block their shot uh, say that again are you surprised that Kenny keeps getting tested and teams are trying to shoot near him and keep blocking shots uh, I mean yeah I mean uh, I think you know he's affecting the game so teams uh, you wouldn't notice it maybe but teams aren't shooting normal shots like they're they practice because Kenny's in there and they're in their head. Like the Washington game, he did tremendous for that. So he's uh, he's helping us, our, us guards on the outside when we get beat. So that helps. Hey, how many dunks have you in your career? How many what? How many dunks have you in your career? I mean, oh, we talking oh, oh, high school? Oh, oh, <laughs> the high school is oh, a different oh. story. <laughs> uh, no, nah, that was my first one in college. How did it feel going up? <laughs> uh, you know, I was just trying to prove a lot of people wrong. I'm glad Jordan was here because Jordan was always on my head about that. Mikhail, so that felt good. Did you guys a, a pre-game pep talk or anything? Or? No, no, no. We didn't see him. We didn't see, we didn't see him until uh, we just like started. Like we ran out the last time we didn't really see him, so. You always a left-handed dunker? Yeah. <laughs> left-handed dunker.